what we what we're looking to do is actually again promote what's called how premium rums are as a category and how diverse they are so the whole idea of uh, the rum fest the premium rum fest uh, is to actually get people to understand rum is more than a spirit it's actually a lifestyle it's um drunk and used in different ways food and rum pairings um uh, boutique cocktails and there are some really big expensive rums um hence having a big rum auction <laughs> as such where we raise about about five thousand pounds for charity so um yeah, it's um, uh, the Rump, the night from fest has been amazing and uh, a nice little prelude to the tenth anniversary next year. Well, Rum Week, um, well, London Rum Week is is um, really to get Londoners to experience rums in different ways. Um, not everyone can make it down to the Rum Fest. and even if they do, sometimes it's nice to uh, get them to. Uh, it, appreciate and understand rums uh, in their own local area, whether it be in a bar, whether it be in a restaurant, um, it might be in their favorite cigar lounge as such, pairing there. We've got chefs cooking with rums. Uh, we do things like rum and chocolate pairings down at Rococo's, um, even doing things like rum and marshmallows down at Selfridges, or just hiring a boat and going down the Thames and doing a big tiki party, uh, which is also a, a way of, uh, well, a cocktail way or a lifestyle way of promoting rums. So the London Rum Experience Week is really just to get Londoners to experience rum uh, throughout the week leading up to Rum Fest. What we thought we'd do um, this year was actually have um, our own blended rum just for the Rum Fest. So a lot of our regulars and our members could buy a little piece of the Rum Fest to take home, uh, keep as a memory, a souvenir, or it's just slip and savor. So every year we're looking to actually do our own blend. So this is a 2015 blend. Next year will be the special one, the 10th anniversary one. But um, we did a few bottles of this um, to buy, but they are unique. I've actually blended it online with the Rum Blenders. It's a, uh, a web page that encourages people to blend and create their own style of rum. Um, so this is my version uh, for the actual rums and if anyone wants to get a little piece of something that I would like to drink then here it is. I think for me the, the, the new things or exciting things I'm seeing in rum is the fact that a lot of small independent labels, a lot of premium rums are now being recognized by the mainstream. So yes, you have the bigger brands. Um, I mean, like we're in here, this amazing place, the Bacardi um, little cove, where you've got some of the best bartenders in the world making cocktails using Bacardi. But when people think of Bacardi, they normally think of um, the entry level rum, um, the, what they say, the lower end, which is the Bacardi Carta Blanca great tasting rum but normally mixed with coke here they're focusing on the eight-year-old and a lot of people when they walk into here they don't even realize that Bacardi have a rum that's been sitting in the barrel for eight years before they decide to actually blend it and use it so you're seeing big companies focusing on premium the premium end and then you're seeing a lot of smaller companies who only can make premium um, stuff um, being recognized and seen around there so that's the exciting thing I'm seeing around the world mm -hmm.